Hi everyone. I just wanted to put a quick note at the start because for, for a change I noticed a mistake before I uploaded the video. There is a limit to building cubes in this game that signify the end of the game. And for some reason, despite reading the rules over and over again as I was setting the game up, I put 30 in the supply for a two-player game and it's supposed to be 40. So the game is supposed to be a few turns longer than it ends up being. But I doubt the end result would be very different as you might see. I also, in the review, forgot to mention how lovely the artwork is. And so that's a little mention up front at the start of the playthrough. And you'll see how lovely the art is as the game unfolds. So without any further ado, here's the game. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be playing Saloon Tycoon and this is a game all about building up our saloons in the Wild Wild West and I'm going to be playing a two-player game today so I am featuring the return of Glass Marty over there and we start the game with these secret goals and we have four and I need to pick two of them and these are going to be about building particular rooms in our saloon attracting certain people, certain citizens, or maybe even outlaws to our saloons. And let's see what we've got. So, have at least nine tiles, including roofs. And this could be, it's worth so many points, perhaps because that's that might not be possible, really. There are only a certain number of building cubes in the game. And once they run out, that is the end of the game. There's one more round apart from the person who ended the game, but maybe that will be hard to do, but it's worth 14 points, so it could be worth going for. So in morning, she just got home from the marble orchard. Be best let her be for a spell. Have the widow Campbell, but do not have any male characters. You can see here, there's quite a selection of female characters, but I would have to actively avoid all of the male characters, and that includes outlaws. Have Cactus Colby and Flat F Fleming. So already I can see that if I pick this, I don't want to pick this. I can't have these together. So Cactus Colby, where's he? He's there. I just need to build the stables to get him. Flatfoot Fleming. Where's he? Oh, he's a bad guy. Oh, that's her. That's, that's she. She's a bad guy. Uh, immediately goes to the first place to have 10 money. So I would want to have 10 money as soon as I can and then build the stables. Or I could hope that Marty attracts this outlaw and then that he gives her to me later. Oh, have lucky Lucy Allen and Phineas Pillbottom. Phineas Pillbottom is an outlaw that comes to the person who is the first to get five cubes and Lucky Lucy is the person who finishes the printing press. Now I think I, I'm not sure if this is a good idea but I'm going to go for big points here. I'm going to go for have at least nine tiles and have the Widow Campbell and no male characters. So I am probably going to be trying to build small things but quite a lot of them. And We'll see what Marty's are in a second. Let's just make a start on the game. So, so on a turn of Saloon Tycoon, we have the income step. Take gold equal to your current income level. And that is usually equal to the number of tiles you've got on your board. We start with one saloon tile. So I would take one gold. You see, we've got these nice little gold plastic pieces here. And, oh, I could get rid of these. I'm not taking those, am I? So I have four gold now. And I have these three tycoon cards that I start the game with. I can now take any one tycoon action. And the actions are earn two gold, draw two more cards, play a tycoon card, build a tile, bribe a character, or I can do these free actions as well as often as I like. So I can stake an open claim. The open claims we've got, there are only four of these for the entire game. These are similar to the end game goals, but have Jack of All Trades and Sydney Smythe, have Senator Park and Miss Watson and Lucky Lucy Allen, have the chapel, a poker room and a billiards room, have two laundry tiles and two pantry tiles. So really with the end game goals that I've picked, these aren't gonna be good for me unless I get the man in this one and send him off to Marty, but, but citizens are worth five points, so sending a citizen away probably isn't gonna be good for me. Uh, you can also supply your tiles and that is basically once you have built a tile they've got these spaces for the building cubes you can buy as many building cubes as you want for two gold each unless you have the outlaw that will make them more expensive so let's see what cards i started with so i have a supply wagon looks like your boys made it i have two of them and the storekeep so this will get me three more gold and it'll let me draw another card to replace it which is nice 
four gold and two cubes to place on my cards. Now, I, I think I am gonna try and grab these smaller things. I need the Widow Campbell, and to do that I need the Luxury Suite. So where's the Luxury Suite? Here it is, it needs to be on the third floor and it costs eight money. So anything next to this is a requisite. So the stables, for example, would have to be the first thing you build. And certain things like the Scorpion Farm, you see they, they have cubes there to finish them, but you can't build on top of these. So I probably wanna go for small things to build up as quickly as I can and then try and get the, the luxury suite quickly. And Marty doesn't know what I've got. He doesn't know what I'm going for. There is also this goal of having two laundry and two pantry tiles. So I think I am going to start the game off. I'm gonna spend all four of my gold and I am going to grab laundry. And I build this on any free space. If I want to build on these spaces, it's gonna cost me extra gold, but I'm gonna score some points right away. So I can put it on this free space here. I have a laundry. And once this laundry is finished, there's this symbol here. It means I can draw two more tycoon cards. And that's my whole thing. I did my action. I don't have any gold to buy any cubes. So that ends that. And we can come over to Marty. And let's see what his end game goals are. So have only Cactus Colby. Do not have any other characters. And Cactus Colby is to do the stables. See, that's, that's worth a lot of points, but it means you can't get any of these that are worth just five points in themselves. All of these citizens are worth five points. Have the Widow Campbell and any male characters. That's quite nice. Complete two or more open claim cards. Or have Purdy Nelly and Moonshine Angie. So Nelly wants the theater, which needs to be above the saloon. And Angie is an outlaw first player to have five tiles so marty would have to race to get as many tiles as he could to do this one or let's see only cactus colby is it's interesting and he could he could grab that and this because that's worth a lot of points right final answer now i think he is going to grab this one for the Widow Campbell and as many males as possible and complete two or more open claim cards because then he can go for these open claims as well of grabbing these people that aren't on these end game cards. Right, now after all that, Marty's income phase, same as me. He has one tile in his saloon, so he gets one more gold to start off with four. And his tycoon cards, he's got the storekeep, the same as me. He's got the builder, which is grab four gold and then take another tycoon action or just grab six gold. And what does he want? He wants the Widow Campbell, or he wants these people as well. So Senator Parker, he needs you to build the brothel, which needs you to have a guest room and a guest room. Where's the guest room? There it is. You need to pay six to have a guest room. So that could be something to start with. Or maybe he wants the luxury suite, in which case he'd have to build straight up. Let's see, Miss Watson. He would want the schoolroom. The schoolroom needs you to not have a poker room and pay 10. So he's gonna need a lot of money. I think, let's see, he could get eight money and then buy something else. I think he's gonna play this card and grab four gold and do another building action. So just grab one of these big ones. They are five, the, the huge gold pieces. And he's going to pay four of it to grab a pharmacy because that is going to give him extra actions in the future. And he could now pay. He's got enough for two cubes. I think, yeah, let's have him buy two cubes and make a start on building up this pharmacy here. There we go. Now over to me, my income is two now because I have two tiles. And I think quite simple, I am going to grab four more gold and two cubes. And I want to get that luxury suite, don't I? So I want to build the little ones up. And over to Marty. See, this game goes really quick. It's a race to 
see how many points you can get before the cubes run out. Let's see, we've used four of the 30 so far. So once you've just got two right now, I think he is going to grab three more and draw a card. So he can grab three gold there, and let's see what he gets. Two more actions, which can be used another time. And he is going to buy a cube, which means he has finished this tile. And if we look at the bottom of here, so every time you build a tile, your income goes up. Every time you finish a tile, for a small tile, you get five points. And as the pharmacy's bonus, he gets another action. So I think he is going to grab six gold. Let's just grab six gold there. So he's got nine now. He's going to spend eight of that nine on more free actions to supply this saloon, which now is also finished. He gets seven points for finishing this saloon. So he's now on 12 and he gets the bonus there of drawing another card, which is have a special, have an extra action, but you can only use it to buy a special tile. You may ignore the tiles prerequisite, but you still have to pay the tiles cost. So this could be huge for Marty. If he can get eight gold as soon as possible, then he can grab the luxury suite. He doesn't know I'm going for it though. So would he race for it? So back over to me, I have two tiles still. So I now have five, six, seven, eight. I think I will, I'll use an action right now to buy a supply cube and finish off this laundry. So I get five points. So it's five to 12 right now. And I get the bonus of the laundry, which is draw two cards. So I have the stagecoach, which is two actions and gold rush, eight gold, but everyone else earns two. So I've still got my action and I think I will grab a pantry for six or I could grab a second laundry. Let's grab a second laundry because I want to keep drawing cards and I can place this now on top of here. So you see my saloon is now starting to take shape and that was all of my gold there and that was my action and my income next round is going to be three. So back over to Marty, he's still earning two. So he's got three in total. And I think, let's see, he doesn't really want to spend a whole turn just drawing a card. Let's see, he'll play this so he can have two actions. The first will be to draw another card. And the second, I think will be to play this. Yes, he needs money but he needs to catch up on building as well. So he grabs eight money, I earn two. But we can see now, oh, he should have attracted Phineas Pillbottom, the first person with five. So he should go over there. And actually, Marty shouldn't have been able to finish that, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure if this kicks in straight away. As soon as he bought five, then maybe he wouldn't have been able to afford those. But I'm not sure. Let's, 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 let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. But I'm sure that he probably would have had to pay more for those. So in the future now, all cubes are going to cost him three. You can, though, send the people away. You can bribe a character as your tycoon action. For six gold, he can send Phineas to me. But now he's got over ten, he also gets Flatfoot Fleming. So he has a lot of money, but he has just attracted two really annoying outlaws. So over to me, I have three income. And I want to get these buildings finished. I might, I might do supply wagon. So four money for me. I don't have to worry about going over 10 anymore. Now Marty's done it and I get two cubes. One, two, and I'm going to spend two money to buy another one. So that's finished. I get another five points. So I'm up to 10 now. And the power of the laundry is draw another two cards. So we've got that extra action to buy a special tile, ignore the prerequisites, and get two extra actions. Zip back over to Marty. He only gets one income because Flatfoot Fleming is in the way. 
and what will he do? He needs he needs to buy a tile really, but I think yes, he's gonna he doesn't. I suppose he doesn't have too much to worry about, so I'm not sure if you'd do this in a real game, but he is going to take the luxury suite from under my feet and with eight gold. He's going to play this to special action to buy a special tile and ignore the prerequisite. He is going to put this luxury suite straight on top of here. And as soon as he finishes it, he can attract over the Widow Campbell. Okay, and over to me. Uh, my income is three. And that's pretty huge if, if Marty gets the Widow Campbell. I can always bribe her over for six gold later on, but let's persevere with building more tiles so I've got two laundry tiles I want two pantry tiles now so let's grab a pantry that's six gold it's gonna cost me and I will buy I think I'll buy let's buy two cubes for it and over to Marty his income is still only one and he has no cards he's kind of in a in a bad position here so his action, I think, is going to be to draw a card. And there we go, four gold and take another action. Back to me. There's three gold for my income. I should have four now, though. I bought the pantry last turn. And Marty should have three, so he should have had another one, really. So maybe he would have done something different. Oh, dear. So... I really want another tile because as soon as this is finished, a roof will go on it and I'll get two, I'll get two um, cubes. So I'd like somewhere that I would like to put those. So who else do I want? I just want nine tiles. I can't afford to buy another roof. Let's play this. So I've got two more actions. Of those two actions, one is going to be to get eight gold. And the second action is going to be to buy another pantry, which I will place here, because tiles can only go up to three high. And that costs six. Then I will spend two on a supply cube. And this pantry is finished. I get two more cubes which I'll place on this pantry and I am the first person to build a third floor and I should say some of these things I should say this up front some of these things are Kickstarter bonuses I'm not sure quite which but this is definitely one so the first person to build a small roof after finishing the third floor gets six points rather than the normal four points and there's also another bonus roof tile there of you can pay four gold to put a roof on a second floor tile and grab those bonus points. So I grabbed five more points for finishing that and that part of my saloon is finished. So I'm now on 20 to Marty's 12. So things are going well for me and not so much for him. So here we go. I think he'll play his card, grab four more money. So I think Marty is going to spend four now to grab the chapel because that is a a goal we need to fill and he could could he afford to he can't afford to completely deck it out with cubes so I think he I think he'll leave it there so his income goes up one more for next turn for me I am gonna grab let's see this is a tile the roof is a tile so I should now get one two three four five six income Let's see, I, I have two laundry tiles and two pantry tiles, so I should have remembered this a second ago, but I should grab six points for this open claim, and that, these don't replenish throughout the game, so that is it there. So I could go for, so I see Marty's had the chapel, so I know he's going for that. I could grab the poker room or the billiards room to stop him, or I could go for one of these instead. So Jack of all trades is going to take 14 to build the general store so i can't afford that and last round this should have gone to me as well 
Moonshine Angie goes to the first player to have five tiles. Now, if I want to play a Tycoon card, I have to discard one as well. So that is a big negative for me. I think I'm going to grab a kitchen. I'm going to pay five, even though kitchens only cost four, because actually I need to pay six, because I'm going to place it on here and earn a point. And then I'll spend two money here on a cube, which gives me two more cubes here because of the pantry's bonus. And I get five points for completing the pantry. And there we have it. I have seven income for next round, but I'm not really going towards any of these goals. Tomati is perhaps focusing too much on the goals. So his income is three. He's going to spend nine to buy three cubes to fill up this chapel. And so he's going to get five points right now. And the power of the chapel is he gets an extra tycoon action, which he hasn't used yet. And he gets to send an outlaw to me. So he is going to send Phineas Pillbottom, who makes cubes cost three. He is going to send him over to me and really mess things up. So I have, Marty still has two tycoon actions. So the first one is going to be to draw a card. And I don't know if he's going to play that as his other action because he knows that I can I can pay six and lure him away but he doesn't know that I've got that goal so of course he will play that he'll play it straight away and three right there he is going to attract the widow Campbell to his saloon who is worth five points and starts making male characters worth more and more he does though Need to start working towards these other goals. So, my turn, I get seven. And how many tiles do I have? I have seven, presumably, if my thing is right. So I need to finish tiles as quickly as possible. I can play the stagecoach to have two actions, and then I can build Another pharmacy for four on top of this pantry. And then I will pay three for a cube to finish this kitchen. That just lets me play another card. And I'll play this one to, and uh, by the way, when, uh, oh, I should have discarded a card when I played a card to satisfy Moonshine Angie. But when I play a card as part of a bonus like this, I don't have to suffer her penalty. So I can just play this, grab three gold and draw another card. Although I can't play this until I've drawn another card. Back over to Marty, he gets his income. And now I think he's gonna pay four to grab the poker room, which when it's finished will get him four more gold. And he can place this above here because his saloon is all nice and finished. And I think he'll pay two and grab a cube, although there is only one cube left in the zone now. So it comes to me. I feel like I've played very badly for Marty, <laughs> as I always do. So now I have what? I have eight. I should have another gold. And I need really to just grab one more tile. If I finish the pharmacy, it will be the end of the game. Whereas if I just buy another tile, say if I bought another pharmacy to go on top here, then I have now got nine tiles and the game doesn't end because I didn't buy any cubes. So back to Marty, he has one, two, three, four, five, so four income. And if he buys the two tiles, he'll never get a chance to finish this poker room. So I think he will use his action to grab two more gold, just so he can finish that poker room. And now back to me. See, I'm in the lead. Why am I stalling the game out? I will just, I will just pay. Let's see, it costs me nine, doesn't it? I have nine, even though I'm about to earn nine, so I'll leave that there. 
and I will grab cubes. Now, the rest of them come from the bag when the supply runs out. There we go. I finished that. And the power of the pharmacy is I can do another action. I haven't done a main action yet, have I? So I've got two main actions. I'll draw a tycoon card, steal a total of three money from any combination of players. I will discard that to play the supply wagon, grab four money and two cubes. And I might as well spend three to grab another cube to finish this one. And then I'll pay another four and put this small roof on, on the top of the second floor. So I get four points for that. And that is the end of my turn. Over to Marty, it's his last go. He gets an income of four. Let's see, he wants to finish the poker room. So let's set aside six right there. So there we go, his poker room's finished. He gets seven points for that. So with the four money he's got, he can actually pay for this roof to go on here because it's the second floor and he's paid for, he gets four points. So you see, there we are. And he still has a tycoon action, but I don't know what he can really do. He can only earn two money from taking an action. So that's that. And I think that's the end of the game because I trigger the end, I don't get another turn. So Marty had what he wanted and now we can proceed to the final scoring. So unfinished large tiles are worth three points like mine. So I get one, two, three for my unfinished saloon. Unfinished small tiles, there aren't any anywhere. Each citizen is worth five points. Marty has a citizen. I do not. Sydney Smythe which should actually be with Marty because he's the only person to have a citizen. Oh no, this went terribly. I'm sorry, Marty, three, four, five. He should have sent Sidney Smythe over. And then secret claim cards. He has the Widow Campbell and one mail card. He has a mail card now, so now he gets two points for that and complete two or more open claim cards. He didn't do that. Me on the other hand, I have at least nine tiles. I don't have the Widow Campbell one, but I do get 14 points, so Let's, let's not even send me 14 points ahead. Let's just say that I, I beat Marty, but I played terribly for him, and I'm very sorry for that. So I hope that gives you an idea of what Saloon Tycoon is like. If you'd like to know what I think about it, then you can click the link that is somewhere up there. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.